What's up? It is Rip and Disc here with another review, and we are reviewing the Paul Macbeth Hades from Discraft. Let's get to it. Big thank you to Infinite Discs for sending us the Hades for our review today. Be sure to go visit their website. We will put the link in the description for anything disc golf related. Yeah, they have everything from discs, bags, baskets, everything you need. So make sure to check out infinitediscs.com. Infinitediscs.com. But wait, call right now and we'll double the offer. Just pay separate processing and handling. You Going with just a flat shot, should ride a little bit to the right and then come back pretty hard with that two fade on it. We're gonna throw this on a bit of a hyzer so it can flip up to flat, ride out for a long way, and then just have that nice fade to the left. We're going with the anhyzer on this shot, and I'm gonna put it on the ante, and it should just work its way pretty dang straight for the duration of the flight until it probably finishes straight, but we'll see what happens. This here is the flick shot. This disc does like to start out pretty flat, but it will turn a little left and then a pretty reliable drop to the right. And that is the Hades. It is a very big disc to handle. It does take a lot to be able to throw it the right way. I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner personally, but I think over time as it breaks in, it will become easier to throw. Yeah, for faster arms like Paul Macbeth, I mean, he gets this thing to turn and do whatever he wants. Slower arm speeds, it, I mean, it's a beef cake, like it's, <laughs> That's the best word to describe it. I don't know how else to describe it, but I mean, it takes a lot to throw, honestly. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and stay tuned for more. Ripping Discs, we're out.